Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Sonoma and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at Terraforming Mars Aris Expedition This is the new card game version of Terraforming Mars Yes, and it plays from 1 to 4 players in about 60 minutes Yeah, this is one game that when it came out on Kickstarter people were like Do we need a card game version? Of a, of a card, card game. game. Yeah. Because there is a map in Terraform Mars, but it is a card game. So I love saying that we are playing the card game version of the card game Terraforming Mars. Yes. So this is more. I'm happy they didn't really. They actually did call it Terraform Mars card yes. game. I was going to say, I hope they didn't call it that. And then I saw it on the box. They actually called it the Terraform Mars card game. That's annoying. When the Terraform Mars is already a game with 90% cards. So that's like making Yahtzee the dice game. It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, because it's a dice game. So. This is basically a streamlined version of Terraforming Mars. If you have not played Terraforming Mars, we're going to briefly talk about what you do in the game. But hopefully you have some feeling of it because we're not going to go deeply into the rules and what you do. Yes. What you're going to do is obviously trying to terraform Mars. So throughout the game you're going to try to make different parameters of Mars go up. So you're going to try to flip these ocean tiles. You're going to try to get them more um, warmth, more temperature, better temperature and more oxygen so that you can actually live on Mars. That is the goal of the game. And how do you do this? We're just briefly going to go over that. You're going to play cards because this is a card game. Yeah. Boom. More cards. Lots of cards in this game. So every round you're going to start off by playing one of the face cards because there are five faces in the game. Each round can have a maximum then of five faces. But you're not going to do all of the faces in one round. It all comes down to how many different faces people play. So I'm going to play down one of my cards. Everybody's going to do that. Then we're going to flip them up and all the faces that now people have played are the ones we're going to do. So you have faces where you can play a green card. You have faces where you can play blue and red cards. You have a face where you can do actions on your cards. You have a face where you produce resources, money. Maybe you can draw some cards and you have an uh, um, and a phase where you draw new cards to get into your hand and that's basically what you are going to do in the game the game is super simple basically if it's development you're going to pay for a green card and play that green card do what the green card says and you're done and you're going to continue doing that until all of the parameters are basically at the top and at the end of that you're going to count points you're going to get points for how many times you have helped the different parameters go up you're going to have a terraforming rating from that and you're going to get points from different cards you play and you are going to get points from some um forest tiles that you also make when you get uh, most of the time when you get the oxygen up and that is basically what you do in terraforming mars Aris expedition the terraforming mars card game yes and components wise, I think it's nice. I Boom. feel like actually this is a step up from the original game. <laughs> when it first came out, it was um, especially the cards. Terraform Mars is a game that has been known notoriously for having really horrible components. Yes, so um, both like the artwork and on the cards mm -hmm. seems more like it, it's actual artwork. <laughs> Not clip art, well, yeah, but many people I, did I like the Terraform Mars. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It gave the impression of like that the designers maybe have like Googled space and science things and just like this is nice. And a dog. There's a dog yes, in there as well. Yeah, dog. But this seems like I can see that there is an artist that has put work into this. And <sighs> but the but the uh, overall design of the cards are very mm. similar to the <laughs> to the cards in Terraforming Mars. Yeah, I do feel like it's a feels a bit upgraded as I said, yes. both the art and the graphic design yeah. and especially the card quality. Terraforming Mars is one of the few games where I sat down and sleeved it like before we played because the mm. card quality is horrible and when you're going to shuffle those cards all the time they're going to be bad. Better. These are really good card quality which I'm a fan of. Yes. I'm a fan of cards. Cards is my work. So I think it looks good yes. but it looks like Terraforming Mars. It does. Yes. It like with a bit more like vibrant colors. It yes. looks like a more happy terraforming Mars. Yeah. Terraforming Mars is more like bleak and bland. This is more like happy terraforming Mars. Mm. So let's talk about the player time and player count. Just one thing first. You, you held up this. Yeah. This is double layered. I'm pretty sure it's only double layered in the Kickstarter. What do you think about that? Wow. Hmm. That is bad. They yes. shouldn't. They should have included this uh, for all the games or all the players. No. Yeah. Retail I, version also. I don't know. Like I, I because we I do not publish games. I do not get quotes for price for games i do not know how much more expensive this is it's probably a bit more expensive but it's only like it's another layer or layer of cardboard glued on I top of this i don't know we, i, I don't remember know. when we got the uh, double layer for uh, terraforming mars mm -hmm. because we started off without it we got it in, in the turmoil uh, yes. expansion and how like much more 
uh, simpler it was and like I don't know if you're knocking this over you have no idea what is what because is you're true. using the same cubes yes. for like everything that is that is that is that, but that, that's better here I would hope they would, would get that in the other game I, yeah. I, it would be interesting to see like how much of a difference that would be in the cost yes so let's go with the player time and play count because this is one game that has to be shorter than Terraform Mars to, to make sense because yes. that's kind of like the, 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 the point of this whole thing. Yeah. So we have played two and three players uh, and it has taken us 60 to 70 minutes which I think is pretty decent oh, yeah. because Terraform Mars usually takes us between two and three hours. I have heard people spend three hours playing this game, two hours playing this game. They're I, playing it wrong. I just think you're probably gonna have a lot of AP in them uh, because like when we played like the last game we played three players I was like, oh, this is going to be longer because nothing happened on, on the board. No, no, none of the parameters went up. And then suddenly, boom, it and it was done. It exploded, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like we went 40 minutes, nothing had almost happened. And then, and then 55 minutes and boom, it was done. Yes. So, so that is pretty nice. I like the length of the game. It does not overstay its welcome. No, absolutely not. And with the parameters, you're trying to get to the point because there are limitational points, mm -hmm. basically, in the game, kind of. You're trying to get them as soon as possible. So it feels a little racy yes. like terraforming mars oh, yeah. uh, but much much shorter and a lot also um, because you're doing things sim simultaneously yes there is a less downtime also than mm -hmm. terraforming mars so let's go into more deep into that and other things yeah. so when we talk about the gameplay because it can look beautiful and it can be things and as i'm saying in all the games and all the reviews we know it but gameplay is it fun is, but is it fun but is it fun I think it's cool that they have taken some elements from Terraforming Mars, mm -hmm. but also removed some and also like kind of mashed it together with Ways for the Galaxy. It's basically that. It is. Yeah, it's basically because is that. if you have played... Or other games where yeah. you choose. If you have played, for example, Ways for the mm -hmm. Galaxy, you're playing, for example, this turn I want to do a development of a green card, yeah. then uh, I will choose this and maybe you will choose a construct of a red or blue card Boom. and then we both reveal those and we both do these two faces oh, yeah. when i have picked my face i get a bonus for that I'm gonna pick my um, face. but i th i think that this is a, a an interesting blend of of mechanisms together but other than that it feels very similar to terraforming around mark just like a simplified so there's very no, much so. no milestones no achievements no map no no like forests or something that interacts with things on the board yeah and that makes the game very very multiplayer solitary yes. you there you have removed almost every single interesting interaction in the game yes. the only interaction that is left is basically do I think you're going to pick this card so I pick something else that's even more important I'm going to be yay when you pick yeah. that of course like the the production and the the drawing of cards those are the ones where are easier to see if somebody might pick that and you're going to be like oh it's better for you I'm not going to pick it so hopefully force you to pick it so that it also happens for me yeah. and and that is fine but the it does end up then being me sitting in my little zone doing my thing and not really caring too much about what you do in in your zone mm -hmm. and i'm usually not a fan of that i'm usually not a fan of like i love games that are multiplayer soldier we play many euro games where you mostly do things on your own board but i do like it when it's your turn it's your turn and my turn it's my turn mm -hmm. most games i like that and i need that because i have no feeling of progression i have no feeling i have my own little thing i don't know what you do here it doesn't bother me that much because i am just doing my little thing and because they have removed the uh, milestones the achievements and the map i don't really care about what you're doing yeah so if you thought that terraforming mars was cool because you interacted with other people mm -hmm. you might not like this game because you're basically only as you said um, interacting in the faces and most of the time I'm going to pick the face that I want to do most anyways mm -hmm. I'm going to just hope for the best um, uh, because I have a plan that I need to do in a specific order to work for it to work out I think that we might like moving towards final thoughts here and let's do like actually. a bit I think we should do like a, a longer it's gonna yeah. be probably a bit longer form term um, terraform Mars longer form <laughs> final thoughts because yeah. there's a lot of things to, to talk about with this game yes absolutely so i i think that um with this sort of games mm -hmm. where i'm we have a big game that is long and complex mm -hmm. uh, when you try to simplify it, it it's a question of 
is it simplified well? Yes. Do it still have the the elements in, mm -hmm. from the core game that I enjoyed? Yeah. And do I feel like this has a purpose? For example, yes. it, it is actually a lot shorter. Yeah. So for that, it absolutely has a purpose. Yeah. I think that for me, I still think that Terraforming Mars is a better game. Oh, yeah. Like the mechanisms with mm -hmm. the map and interaction and also the drafting, if you're playing with that mm -hmm. in Terraforming Mars, I think that is great. But um, yeah, you can Which also yeah you can also like talk about a little bit about like the luck that you have had a little problem with in Terraforming Mars. Oh, I thought you were gonna do final thoughts. So you're not gonna do final thoughts. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm kind of segueing into it. Into, so, into my final thoughts. Yeah, into yours. Okay, so I'm gonna do my final thoughts yeah. in your final thoughts. Yeah, that's um, kind of strange. Like we knew form of doing a video, yeah. but that's okay. We just make up things because we ramble, and that's what's yes. gonna happen. Yeah. Um. So. Terraforming Mars is a game where if you have been following this channel for more than two seconds, you might know that I have kind of a, a love-hate relationship with Terraforming Mars. Beatles sets tell me that I have only pl almost played the game 20 times, which must mean that I do like the game, because mm. most games I do not play 20 times. That's true. Also, one of the reasons we have played it many times is because we have gotten all the expansion, and most of them have been horrible, and we never want to play them again. Huh. So, Terraforming Mars is a good game. It has that luck element, which sometimes ruins the game for me, and sometimes makes it fun. And... This game kind of makes that better because it's a shorter game and it's mm. a less... It doesn't matter too much to me if I get the horrible thing and I, I can't get it to work as good yes. as you. When it's on a, and it's going to be an hour. When it's going to be three hours, it's going to be a problem. Sometimes it's going to be a problem. Sometimes it's amazing because I can do what I want to do. Um, so I like that better here. But all in all, I think that taking away all of the interesting things in Terraform Mars the interaction, the timing of when do I want to reach for that achievement and fund that, when do I, mm. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to squeeze out that milestone right before you because I get a double action and I do that right mm. before you get to yeah. do it. Do hate drafting when I see like, oh, this card is way too good for you, to which also mitigates that luck a lot yes. by you helping out and, and taking away that just, oh, top taking that card that I wanted all the time. And so it, it, it makes it a lot simpler. I like both games. I want to keep both games because yes. This is a lot simpler to teach. This is a lot simpler to just get out there and play. And then you can say, oh, we have this game, which is fundamentally the same game, but it has a lot more to offer. So I like both games. I don't know what I would have rated Terra March now because we didn't, I don't even know if we actually reviewed it hmm. because I think it no, might I have came, so, come out before we yeah, started I doing agree. this thing. But Terra March is a good game. This is a good game. This is an amazing game. For me, no, it's not, but it is a, a good game. I enjoy it. I think there is many good. I, I agree with you. Like I think this is one that has has done that like simplifying thing in a good way. Yeah. Because most times when you play a the card game or the dice game or the X game, mm. then we are usually very let down because it's not what we wanted to be. Like, but then I just want to play this. Yeah, you have this problem. Either it's too similar or mm -hmm. too long or it doesn't really serve its purpose or it has taken too much away for yes. me to enjoy it. And I feel that this is close to the point of taking away too much of the things I'm yeah, that makes like Terraforming like Mars. On the edge there? Really on the edge. So do you should I just say do my rating now? Like because yeah, go, I don't know. Go. I don't know how this video works anymore. Uh, <laughs> but that's fine. So it's a good game. I think I'm going to rate it like a, a, a 7. Yeah. I think it's a fine game. Over average, good game. I want to keep it. I want to play it again. I would not. If somebody wanted to play it, I would play it. But I don't know, like, if somebody says, like, oh, you want to play Terraform Mars or Terraform Mars Aeros Expedition, if I have the time and I have the players and I would rather play Terraform Mars. Oh, yeah, I agree. That is, like, the superior game for me. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, uh, you should definitely to check that, this out as well. I, I don't know if you're, like, not a fan of Terraform Mars. It's still kind of similar, yes. so you might not like this either way. But I think, like, if you enjoy, like, the card playing, with these cards Boom. from Terraforming Mars, I think that this is essentially the same thing in this it game, is. which yes. I enjoy. So I'm also going to rate it, rate, rate it a 7. Uh -huh. I think it's a good game. Yeah. So that is Terraforming Mars Aris Expedition. Yes. That's the end of this video. If you are still here and you still like us and you have not clicked the subscribe button, do it now. It's free and it's fun and makes us happy like this. <laughs>
And if you want to do something that's not free but still very much fun and helpful, you can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and help us out there. And that is the end of yet another review here on the channel. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching, commenting and being awesome. Yes. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Senwa. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.